guys. I hope you can see me. Hi guys. Welcome back to Shah's Lifestyle Vlogs. Right guys, as you know from my last vlog, um, if you, by the way, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much love you guys for returning if you are new my name is Shah and I do all things lifestyle hair repairs um, just everything everything that goes on in my life well not everything but most things I try and record for you guys so maybe you can get some sort of a um, let me top you a little bit maybe you can get some sort of a feel of my lifestyle and what i do and so on and so forth my name's shah going back to it my name's shah and i do natural hair um videos i do repairs clean with me's um organizations um hauls and so on and so forth anyway guys I am now on my Easter break and I'm very excited about it. However, there is one topic that I just thought I'll pick up the camera and share with you guys um, because it's something that's been weighing heavily on my mind and it's something that I needed to do and that is take care of my finances. Now, it's a very boring topic and most of us, you know, get very stressed on debts and finance and so on and so forth. But I just thought this might help someone out here. By the way, please disregard the hair, okay? I know I'm looking a little bit like a little six-year-old girl going to school. <laughs> But we had hair wash day on the weekend and I put it in this style because I don't really plan to go anywhere this week. I have no plans. I may be going out with my cousin, but I'm not too sure whether or not we're going to still do that. But for now, that's the hair and the greys are still greying. Anyway, I'm completely going to off topic so i digress let me continue okay so um i live in the uk and i try and handle my own finances on my own let me just show you guys something i try and handle my own finances on my own um you know be my own little accountant like most of us does okay but sometimes you know it gets overwhelming and i get lost in what needs to be paid what's coming in what's going out and so on and so on and so forth because you know i don't know about anywhere else in the world but certainly in the UK, there's a lot of expenditure going on. Unfortunately, because of this, I will not be doing much hauls, if any, for quite some time. Because um, I first decided, let me see if I can get, um, is it a creditor? you know, like debt solutions and so on and so forth. People in the UK will know what I'm talking about. You know, it's companies that apparently works for free that helps you with your finances um, and sort out your finances so that you pay it all into one pot and they basically distribute, especially if this is mostly if you have debts like myself. And I'm trying to get to a place where I'm debt free to bring up my credit score so um, if you have debts there's certain companies such as debt solutions is one and what's the other one 
something step what is it called step change is another and so on and so forth and they help you by with your debts by reaching out to the creditors stopping all these nonsense calls and letters coming through your door and you just pay a lump sum once a month in a pot to them and they basically distribute that to all of your debts basically um i did want to do that but after having some research um this was about maybe last year i decided mm, no it's probably a little problematic because what you don't know is that these agencies is meant to be for free but obviously they get paid somehow and how they get paid is a little portion of that money goes to them so I decided against that and now I thought okay I'm not keeping a very good track of things I'm not very good with with finances I'm awful with keeping up with my finances I'm awful with money I really am not that great okay so I've been really 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 stressed out on you know making payments here and there and there and here which I have been but you know some things fall at the wayside on some months you know because other things come into play such as your child's birthday or um, your shopping budget is a bit more this week or this month or um, just buying things for your household for example like recently we purchased a washing machine which we obviously will be paying down on so things like that occurs and then some debts fall at the wayside and then you get all lost well I do so these two things this folder right here is where I keep all my letters debts bills and so forth and this little black book here is what I will call my accounts book which I write down everything that I have paid each month now that was working well for a while but because it's in a box you know I'm quite a visual person and because it's in a box and it's sort of out of sight out of mind I put some I'm not going to show you this but I have some post-it notes here that I've done yesterday I did yesterday of all my bills and and finances and then on this post-it note if I ever was to reach out to any of these companies I've just marked off things that I don't want to be spoken you know don't want to be doing such as an IVA is not a great idea and a, and a DRO is also not a great idea so just in case I did decide to take that route I've kept that through my research so what I did is not only did I write all my um, my finances on these post-it notes down here so that I have a visual I'm always sitting here this is my little comfort spot this is where I'm always at as you know um, I thought okay what I need is a bigger visual of everything that I need to be paying out monthly so I decided I I don't know if you recall but quite some time ago um, when my son's homeschooling began I had 
um, his little whiteboards and so on with timetables and so on here. Now the main whiteboard is in his room currently, but I also had a smaller whiteboard, so I decided to basically use that because it's just stuck in the cupboard, not being used. I decided to use that for my finances. Let me show you real quick. I'm not gonna show you my finances. I'm just gonna give you a quick glimpse of what I have done. So this is what I've done, guys. And I've started this from April because this is the, that's the month we're in now. And I've written down all the months for the rest of the year and um, all the debts as well as monthly payments such as rent, gas and electric, your norm, food shopping, so on and so forth. Um, payments for my washing machine, for example. Um, you know for Kai's boxing and so on and so forth just every single finance that I need to be taken care of and what I'm going to do in them little boxes that you saw I'm going to be ticking off monthly what's being paid so I have a visual of what still needs to be paid and what's not being paid each month now you could take my advice or you may be you may be great with your finances but i would advise to try this method um obviously i've tried this method over here um it's not gone too swimmingly so i've done a visual hoping that this will go well and I'm more confident that I can take care of my own finances without having to use an outside source um, to keep me on track and so on and so forth. So I just thought I will jump on here and basically, I don't know, someone might find it useful out there, but I thought I'll pick up the camera today and show you guys what I have done as far as my finances just in case there's someone out there that's probably also has a lot of expenditure not very good with finances like myself getting stressed losing sleep getting worries getting tons of phone calls and tons of letters through your letterbox saying you know you owe this or you haven't paid that or so on and so forth and it's very 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 stressful so i thought let me come on here and show you guys my little method of how i plan this has not been put into practice but this is how i plan to go about my finances for the rest of the year um and I will keep you updated on whether or not this is working for me. But because I am a visual person and I do need things in my face, I thought whoever else out there, it might help as well. I wouldn't advise for you to go to one of these debt agencies. Um, they do encourage you to, to fill in a IVA which is not really a good idea or a DRO also not very as far as my research you can do your own research but as far as I'm concerned I want to tackle my finances on my own so if there's anyone out there that's the exact same as me not very good with budgeting not very good with keeping up with your finances struggling stressing I would say do yourself a little visual board like this and then you can tick off what you've been paying because I've done mine monthly, you can do yours weekly, I recommend monthly, most things requires monthly payments 
so I've done mine monthly I've also included things like my travel for work um, costs for travel um, like I said my rent um, my son's classes you know phone bills and so on and so forth um, a few things are direct debit which means they just automatically come out of my account once a month and I will tick those off as and when which is also a really good idea to just make everything as much as you can make as a direct debit on a certain time of the month where maybe when you get your wages um, I would advise don't see your um, income your wages as on that day don't see it as the day of payment wait a couple of days till all those payments has been taken out then you'll see what you're left with for whatever you need to buy um, that's what I plan to do with a couple of them but mostly I will be taking control so anyway I just thought I would jump on here and share that with you guys because it is really stressful and the time we're living in right now money is on everyone's mind every April my, things goes up rent goes up um, your um, subscriptions to any to to most things most most of your bills especially in the UK will go up a small percentage or so in the April month um, so yeah that's all I have for you for today um, I will try and um, come back on here while I'm off work and take you through bits and pieces of my week um, today was just a just so happened to be a um, finance day that I had planned to sort of de-stress myself also this is my journal I do do journaling in my journal um, as you can see um, so I plan to do some journaling later and write down my thoughts and how, you know, catch up with my journal and what, what sort of, what's going on in my mind. It's a really good idea to write things down, what's going on in your life, what's, you know, anything new, um, anything that's sort of on weighing heavily on your mind whatever the case may be family dynamics or situations or whatever the case i am going to be journaling i don't journal daily but i do try and journal as often as i can sometimes i journal um once a week sometimes it, i won't journal again for another month and then i will backtrack in my writing of what's happened through that month and so on and so forth this right here oops one of my post-it notes is gone this right here is where I put my fitness plan this is more of my fitness workout workout sort of um, well-being situations if you will um, um, and this is how March went as far as my workout. So all the red is where, where I've done a workout. I've started to do a 6 a.m. workout, which I have done this morning. So I do need to um, go into April and put that in. And what else do I do? Also... I have this jar now I got this idea from my daughter and what I do is all events it could be happy events mostly happy events 
that's happened in that in a month or whenever it doesn't have to be in a month it could be something really great happened I don't know um, last month but nothing really was happening this month I just put a little sticky note in here write it down um, also if, even if you've lost a family member or a friend or something like that you can put that in there as well but I mostly use this as um, something more I don't know not so depressing but something that's occurred such as you know um, having my hair done for example for Mother's Day um, I will put in here when I had my hair straightened for the first time I would put that my daughter got for me I would put in here celebrating my son's um, birthday um, I would put in here and so on and so forth and what we did you know so that's it guys that's all I have to share for you guys today oh one more thing so I have I'm not going to open this little scroll thing but I have three kids for anyone that don't know two of them are adults they're not kids two of them is adults one of them is a teenager who's still a kid um, Anyway, my two youngest, my youngest daughter, I have two daughters, one son, my youngest daughter um, in her 20s and my son is a teenager, um, they made this little scroll thing and they plan to add to it. Um, this is not mine, this is theirs, but they decided to just leave it in here for now and I just thought I'd share it because I thought it was a really sweet little project. They were sitting here doing it this week and it's basically their family tree. Um, so they basically writ written down, you know, grandparents and uncles and aunties and cousins and so on and so forth, trying to make themselves a little family tree. It was just a fun little activity. So I just thought I will throw that in there. Anyway, guys, I don't know if I'm going to come back today. As I said, yes, I am looking like a little bit of a six year old with this hairstyle. But I don't plan to go anywhere and I did do my workout so it's really easy for me to lay flat on my head when I'm doing my floor um, any floor exercising um, yeah I don't plan to come back today but I will try and give you little clippets of what I get up to in the week um, now that I, I'm on uh, Easter break um, also I did want to do a clean repair organize which I normally upload on a Wednesday and I did want to start doing some deep spring cleaning but I haven't had the energy to do that or start that just yet but when I do please look out for it and show it some love I normally will upload any cleaning organizing and repairing will come will be uploaded on a Wednesday anything else any other vlogs hauls hair etc this would be on my Sunday uploads okay guys that's all I have time for to say right now as i said i may or may not come back during the week and show you little clippets of what i get up to not sure what it may be a cook with me or what we have for dinner it may be a video of my a little clip of my 6 a.m workouts it may be just anything random really but i just wanted to come on here and um Hopefully I can help someone or someone might find my little method of financial situations helpful to them. Um, yeah, so that's all I have time for. So for now, stay safe, be safe and peace. But I will be back, hopefully. All right, bye guys.